Jai Shri Ram. Text completion. Three blanks. Let's look at the words below. Portentous means very significant. Uh, indicator. A significant indicator of what's going to come later. Shakunam. Portent. Uh, the word portent is synonymous with omen. O-M-E-N. Uh, boarding. Foreboarding. Uh, auspice. A-U-S-P-I-C-E. Augury. A-U-G. A-U-G-U-R-Y. Augury. Herald. Harbinja. Something that uh, is significant in the sense that it's an indicator of what's going to follow or come later. So a portentous sign. Okay, banal means ordinary, commonplace, the banality of corruption. Corruption is everywhere. Banal, cliched, hackneyed, platitude, uh, something commonplace, lacking originality. A banal speech is one which is full of repeated phrases which you have heard so often that it's very boring. Blank 2, antiquity means very ancient. Blank 3, elusive, uh, difficult to catch or difficult to understand. Contemporary, current, circumstantial, two meanings. Circumstantial means uh, based on circumstances of no primary significance, incidental. Incidental is a synonym of circumstantial. Incidental means occurring by chance, occurring by chance. And circumstantial can also mean full of details. A circumstantial report means complete and particular, having lots of details, full of details. So, because circumstantial therefore is a word with two meanings. Incidental occurring by chance of no primary importance <coughs> pertinent but not relevant so one is a negative meaning the other meaning is positive circumstantial a circumstantial report is one that is full of details complete and particular now let's look at this one historical research makes to somewhat antithetical truths now antithetical opposed to each other thesis thesis uh, plus antithesis leads to the synthesis. This whole process is process is called dialectics. Thesis, for example, simply means a theory or a hypothesis. If somebody says A is good for health, we can call that a thesis. A is good for health. Somebody might say A is dangerous. So that is the antithesis. So now if we get these people to talk, <coughs> A is good for health, we will uh, get a lot of reasons from the person who is supporting A and then when we listen to the other person who says A is dangerous, he will also come up with a lot of you know, reasoning and evidence. So when we listen to both sides, then we can understand that A seems to be good for some people in some situations and dangerous for some others in other situations. So we have a better understanding of A and this process of putting together the thesis and antithesis is called dialectics and when you arrive at that better understanding that's called synthesis so synthesis thesis plus antithesis leading to the synthesis is called a dialectical approach or dialectics is a mode of understanding arriving at a better understanding of something by examining the opposites so that is called vadaha 10th chapter 32nd shloka in the bhagavad gita <laughs> Sargana Madhirantascha Madhyam Chaivaham Arjuna Adhyatma Vidya Vidyanam Vada Pravadatamaham Krishna says that he inspires Vada. Vada means the quest to know the truth. When people come to the debating table with opposite views, antithetical views, but they are open minded and willing to consider the opposite views, the antithetical views and then also willing to put together everything to have a better understanding of something. That attitude, in fact, that approach is called Vada. In Telugu, Vada means uh, an argument. But in Sanskrit, in Sanskrit, Vada is the inferential conclusion with the emphasis on knowing the truth. So that is Vada. Anyway, I'm glad you listened to me. Now let us see. Historical research makes two somewhat antithetical truths. That means these are opposite to each other. Like I said, A is good and A is dangerous. Two somewhat antithetical truths that sounded as come to seem profound. Profound means deep. Seem profound. Okay. Seem profound means see appear to be deep when actually they are not. Okay. Or probably they are not. Okay. 
knowledge of the past comes entirely from written documents okay entirely from written documents giving written words great dash and the more material you uncover the more dash your subject becomes okay so this historical research is focusing on what antithetical truths okay so that's the whole this is a tough one you got to be careful please pause pause and work i am also working the answer has to be what seemed banal uh, sounded banal uh, that sounded banal came to seem profound so that fits okay a portent is doesn't make any sense in this context so what sounded ordinary and common place actually came to seem deep so profound means deep so next uh, written words are given greater weightage consequence so second blank was actually easy now the third blank is difficult and what is happening here antithetical truths so what seemed banal became profound so the more material you uncover more information more material data yeah, knowledge the more dash the subject becomes <laughs> yeah which one is better contemporary can can be thrown out hmm, the tug of war is between elusive and circumstantial is it simply circumstantial which means lot of material is added here or to somewhat antithetical truths which means that you are not sure what to accept and the more you dig more information will make the subject even more yes the answer has to be elusive elusive means difficult to understand because when so much material knowledge is being dug up so these antithetical truths that means evidence is being uh, evidence uh, is found for both positions so that means our understanding of the uh, subject becomes difficult jashinam yes, you know.